Okay, everyone, so we have the Epson printer and we have sublimation ink. This is unopened and we're going to open it on camera. Okay, this is unopened from Target exactly as shipped. So we're going to open it together and I just wanted to show you that these are the two things you need. You need the printer and you need sublimation ink. Okay. So we're just going to set that aside and we'll open the package. And one thing about this printer, I mean, it's really tiny. So if you have a tiny workspace, it's going to be great. Here's a standard ruler and it's actually shorter, <laughs> even the box is shorter than a standard ruler. And uh, it's very lightweight, just uh, so that you're aware. We have the Easy Start disc and manual. plastic bag. I'm going to take it out of the bag and turn it around so that you can just see it. Actually, you can put it right there for a second. There's the bag. This is it. Very small, very lightweight. There's the manual and the CD. It also comes with the power plug. And finally, it comes with pigment ink. Now, this is what we talked about in the video before. This is not a real sublimation printer. We're going to use it for sublimation, um, but we're going to lose the warranty. We're going to lose any type of tech support because we are not going to use this as a regular office printer. We're going to use it as a sublimation printer. So here are the inks that come with it. And we are not going to put them in the printer. This is pigment ink. This is the sublimation ink that we bought. And I just want to show you as an example. Remember, we talked about how you can tell sublimation ink from pigment ink. This is the yellow pigment ink. This is the yellow sublimation ink. And just look at the difference. One is milky. One is kind of orange. This is orange and very, very liquidy. Sublimation ink is milky. Looks like milky mustard. All right. So we're going to use these. We're not going to use these, but don't toss these. We are going to need the bottle or at the very least the cap on these to help us put this ink into the printer. Okay, these have a special nozzle on top that fit nicely into the um, into the tank over here. So they have a special nozzle and we're going to hopefully just swap out the nozzle. That would be nice if this fits right onto this bottle. That would be very, very easy. Um, in most cases, it does not fit right onto this bottle. So we can either just use the nozzle and pour this ink in the nozzle and if that doesn't work, we can just swap out the ink altogether, okay? So don't get rid of this yet. Just set it all aside. 
we're going to see how we have to deal with our sublimation ink to get it in here and what's going to be the best method to do that based upon um, how this nozzle of this ink will pair up with the nozzle of this ink. Okay, so that's going to be our next video. But right now we have unpacked this little sublimation printer, the Epson 2720, and we're going to get it ready to do sublimation printing. Okay, stick around for the next video. We're going to talk about using this ink with these nozzles to get it inside these tanks. Stay tuned.